Jacques Demy's second movie in his romantic trilogy named Le Parapluie de Cherbourg, translated to The Umbrella to Cherbourg, is one of the most unique and fascinating musical melodramas of the French New Wave, but also a world cinema. The plot follows two young lovers, Geneviève and Guy, as they serially see each other and go to the theatre and dance clubs. But when Guy is drafted for service in the Algerian war, Geneviève is heartbroken. Even though Geneviève finds out she's pregnant by Guy, she marries an older businessman, Roland Cassard, to her mother's delight. The Umbrellas of Cherbourg is innovative, creative, and modern. Since the entire 91 minute runtime, its dialogue is entirely sung, including casual conversation, helped by the impressive soundtrack by Michel Lecomte. Heck, even the postman sings his measly to one. Bonjour. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. The Umbrella of Cherbourg is sung as recitative, which is a style of delivery where the singer, in this case the actor, adopts the rhythms of ordinary speech. Demi's choice to implement this artistic style throughout the entire film makes it incredibly unique and at that time considered revolutionary. Paired with the stunning odd-dropping cast and the whimsical production design, Demi manages to create a world of fantasy and imagination in the French seaside town of Cherbourg. But even though the mise-en-scene is portrayed unrealistically and can sometimes be considered cheesy and cliché, the story is the polar opposite, depicting a real and genuine relationship with flaws and a pragmatic ending. It's at the ending where we see the true power of the Mies filmmaking skills, mixing fantasy and realism in one heartfelt resolution. The characters show bittersweet maturity, the realization of how the more beautiful young love is, the more temporary it becomes and how it can only be eternal if it is frozen in dreams, a fantasy. The Mies subverts the audience's expectations of reconciliation, offering the audience a realistic view of the two characters who moved on with their lives. They're extremely saddened by the outcome of their tale, but are conscious of its inevitability. In this way, it's a bittersweet ending that both the characters and the audience can understand and accept. Damien Chazelle has numerously stated how his latest Oscar-winning film La La Land is heavily inspired by The Umbrella of the Cherbourg and has said how it is his favorite movie of all time. Favorite film of all time? The Umbrella of the Cherbourg. This is understandable as the similarities between these two works of art are quite apparent and noticeable. Both of the films feature two lovers who have dreams and aspirations. In Cherbourg, Guy's dream is to win a gas station while in La La Land, Sebastian's dream is to acquire a jazz club. Both of these dreams come true exactly five years later, since Guy owns an American-styled Esso gas station, while Seb owns his own jazz bar named Seb's. La La Land is also similar in the ending, as the moment of realization that the two lovers are not together hits just as hard in La La Land as it does in Umbrellas. The look Geneviève and Guy give each other at the end is also mimicked by Mia and Seb. But it's not only the Umbrellas of Cherbourg that influenced La La Land, but also Jacques Demy's entire cinema repertoire, taking inspiration from Demy's later musical, The Young Girls of Rush 4, which by its vibrant costumes and expert dance choreography, shows a unique style imitated in La La Land. The Umbrellas of Cherbourg has a distinct and vibrant style, while also portraying a complicated and realistic relationship between its two main characters. And its unusual form of singing makes it an extraordinary movie that any film lover must watch. Paired with it being an inspiration for modern cinema, The Umbrellas of Cherbourg shows how trying a new technique can sometimes prove beneficial, making it a must-watch classic. <laughs>